with new head coach at Wake Forest, Dave Clawson. Dave, give me a sense of the first few months in Winston-Salem. Well, it's been really busy. I think whenever you get to a place, there's always a, a very steep learning curve early, and we've certainly, uh, in terms of hiring a staff, recruiting a class, getting through spring football, uh, have learned a lot about the school and, and what a special place it is, and, and probably just as important, have got to know our current team. And so uh, it's been productive, but we know we have a lot of work to do. What's a Dave Clawson team going to look like for Wake Forest fans when they see the team on the field? Well, we, we want to be extremely disciplined. Uh, we want to be tough. Um, you know, we want to be hard-nosed, and, and we want to be a, a football team that when our team shows up, they're obviously excited to play the game and enjoy playing with each other. When a coach takes over, give fans a little insight into what it means to take over a program. What are the first big things to do to really put your print on the program? Well, I, I think a lot of it starts with off the field stuff. I think there's fundamentals of your program that you want to get established uh, in terms of the culture that you're creating. A lot of it is, you know, in the classroom, um, you know, off the field socially, uh, in the weight room, because those are the only things you can do. You can't practice. So, uh, you know, what you do on offense and what you do on defense uh, is almost secondary when you first take over. I, I think it's uh, establishing the culture and. Uh, the type of players that you want in your program and the type of character you want in your program. Now you have seen them on the field in spring practice. What did you find out about the guys you have coming back? Well, number one, it, it's a it's a very coachable group. Uh, you know, I, I've been through situations before that maybe there's resistance or a reluctance of guys to buy in, and I didn't find that at all. And I think that's a credit to Coach Grobe. I think he recruited a high caliber uh, student athlete, and uh, and we have good kids. Um, we got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, obviously, as a new staff, we're installing new systems, um, and it's going to take a while, I think, for those guys to really stop processing and, and play faster. And uh, I think that's just the nature of being a new staff. I know fans are always trying to figure out, read the tea leaves, and figure out what's this team going, how's it going to perform, what kind of offense, what kind of defense, what should they expect, what, you, what are we going to see in the fall? Well, again, it goes back to just some of the fundamentals. I think, uh, you know, there's a direction we want to take the defense and a direction we want to take the offense, but maybe all those pieces aren't in place yet. So I think part of it is a staff that you have to adjust to the, the talent level that's in place, and, and maybe they were recruited for a different system, but rather than just, uh, you know, enforce our system and say, hey, this is how we're doing it, we may have to tweak things a little bit to take advantage of the talent that we do have in the program. So could you see this potentially being two, three years, kind of molding the team into kind of how you envision it? Well, I think every year, based on your skill set, you know, maybe one year you have, you're better at receiver than running back. Maybe one year you're, you're better at safety than corner. Uh, I think that's part of the art of coaching, is you, you look at your, your current team and maybe what things you emphasize or de-emphasize based on the skill sets of the different players you have. Coach Dave Clawson, really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, thank you.